Hey family, what's going on? Klaus here and welcome back to our Tunnel 13 Farm to Max, or should I say Tunnel 14 Let's Play. Yes guys, the Tunnel 14 update went live this morning, actually, super early. Um, I, I did not wake up early enough, so I'm a little bit late to the punch, but I'm sure most of you guys didn't wake up at 3 a.m. to play the update. So, and, and of course, I'm in America, so uh, the update went live, I think, like mid-morning in uh, Europe. So, of course, that was middle of the night for us. But anyway, so guys, I'm going to be going to Tunnel 14 today, and I'm super excited about it. But first, I just want to remind you guys that I am a free-to-play player. I might buy the gold pass because I like to build a gem my donations to my clan mates for one gem that's awesome and possibly get this the new skin but i'm a free to play player you guys are gonna see a ton of content creators today who are gonna who's gonna gem the entire update and that's awesome because that content's fun to watch but it's not my style so be looking forward to an actual town hall 14 grind something that you guys can emulate for the most part the only thing that i think is kind of special about what i'm gonna do is i've got maxed out league shop medals from cwl i've got 2500 out of 2500 so we're gonna be using a lot of metals going forward uh which i'm excited about the hammers are awesome I, they do have that cooldown, so that does kind of throttle things a little bit but it got like unlimited loot basically because of that too so that's gonna be kind of something cool and then obviously magical items help a lot but i don't have like excess i've got one of one of pretty much everything except for a book of everything right now so uh that means that you know, again, we're going to be able to use them, but it's not an excessive amount. So, uh, guys, we're going to be going to Tunnel 14. If you guys didn't see any of the sneak peeks for the video, then you don't know what's coming, right? But the main thing is the pet house. I'm super excited about the pet house. It, it gives us pets that we can assign to heroes and it makes them better. So that's exciting. Plus new walls, traps, and upgrades to every single building, which I'm super excited about. But before we upgrade this Town Hall to Town Hall 14, let's hear from today's video's sponsor. Raid Shadow Legends brings some of the most epic graphics and immersive gameplay in the mobile gaming industry. With millions of players and regular updates, Raid keeps raising the bar, this time by introducing an entirely new playable faction, the Shadowkin. Use the QR code or the link in the description to download Raid onto your mobile device or your PC right now. The Shadowkin are shrouded in mystery, hailing from the furthest reaches of the eastern continent beyond the Brimstone Path. Rumor has it they've been under the brutal heel of the demon spawn for centuries. Only in the past few months have they overthrown Seroth's yoke and revealed themselves to the other factions. Are they honorable? Yes. Are they evil? Not anymore. Are they good? Only time will tell. This faction is just getting started. Come meet the new arrivals in the game. Who doesn't like a game where we can collect awesome looking heroes? I mean, there's so many to choose from, it guarantees that you're going to be satisfied with your own creative choices. You can grind XP and silver by farming up the campaign at the same time, building up and strengthening your team. There's endless possibilities. Raid just hit their two-year anniversary and with a load of anniversary events and tournaments going on right now. If you move quickly, you might still be able to catch some of those special events and get your hands on some of the free gifts and rewards. The schedule is absolutely jam-packed until the middle of April with insane anniversary events and tournaments with anniversary-sized prizes to win. You might also still be able to get involved in the first Clan vs. Clan tournament. On top of that, they've got some huge updates coming later in the month, including a new Doom Tower rotation with two crazy tough new bosses. If you want to get a huge head start in Raid, all you have to do is hit the link in the description or scan the QR code on the screen. And if you're a new player, you'll get a free epic champion, Jotun, who is amazing in the Doom Tower by the way, 100,000 silver, 50 gems, and the three ancient shards so you can summon awesome champions as soon as you get in the game. You'll find your extra rewards here in the inbox for the next 30 days only. And it's that easy! Be sure and download the game using the link in the description and I will see you there. Alright guys, Tunnel 14, I'm actually going to be using the Hammer of Building, which saves me the loot and saves me the time. 20 days off. Super excited about this. So let's go in 3, 2, 1, BAM. Oh, okay. 3, 2, 1, BAM. Alright guys, so we're now Tunnel 14s, which, uh, by the way, you get a free jungle scenery, which I'll be using today. I also get 5 days of a hero boost, a power potion boost, resource boost, and star bonus boost. You guys know about these Town Hall upgrade boosts. So, there we go. We are now a Tunnel 14. Yes! Alright, and um, I would like to bring attention to the builders. Yes, now, Chief, the builders say they want to do more in battles. Upgrade their huts to see how they can help. Yes, so now we're able to upgrade the builder huts, which is super, super 
awesome. It's a 10 day upgrade. My question is, can I use the builder while this upgrades? I don't know. I'm going to find out. But first, um, I want to look at one more thing. So change scenery, right? We get a free scenery. So why not actually use it? I've only got the classic scenery. I had the classy construct construct scenery, which I think was the first one that was released. Now I've got the jungle scenery. So let's go ahead and select that. And bam, there we go. We're looking nice and jungly. I love the water back here, actually, the river. Uh-oh. Guys, where do you think this goes? We know where this goes, right? We know where, where that path goes. That goes to our clan mates. That's where our, our donated CC troops go. But where does that go? Wow, fancy. There's a boat over here with some food in there and a couple torches. Guys, I think that... Oh, and the, look at the waterfall. Dude, oh my gosh. That's awesome. Yep, so there's definitely some Easter eggs. I'm wondering if that's something we need to pay attention to or if it's just part of the scenery i don't know but all right guys so now we have the jungle scenery let's start working on some upgrades actually you know what we should do we should go do a raid i don't have max loot yet so i've got uh uh what is this uh yeti smash okay so it, it requires heroes uh so we may not be able to do the second raid today we'll see it's gonna be a long video anyway because i've got all these upgrades that i want to do so let's see also i have not done i didn't show you guys this but i have not done a raid i look sleepy i i i'm, I'm awake and i'm trying to film earlier than i'm used to so i'm sorry uh but anyway if you look at my attack log no this is not a glitch i have not attacked in months on this account because i maxed it out so i only did war and i've been focusing on my other accounts and that's just the way it is so also, my defenses have been pretty brutal just because I had a lot of loot and I never used it. So anyway, uh, yeah, so I have no I have no league. It's terrible. Um, I, I haven't attacked in like three months. I don't know how long it's been. It's been a long time. So let's see how it goes. Uh, I'm going to look for a base. I basically just want a three star base. I don't care like how much loot it has or anything. I just care about three starring it. So let's try to find a base that looks decent you know not bad not bad like that one that was kind of like a ring base that'd be kind of nice but i kind of want to attack a town of 14 just because or i could totally bully a town hall 12 that would be hilarious but no i can't i can't do that my first town hall 14 raid needs to at least be somewhat competitive i think or i might go back on my word there if i find a base that's super super juicy so guys i'll be right back once i find that perfect base we're gonna smack it and then we got all kinds of there we go never mind i'm gonna attack this one this is a town of 14 it is level one i think oh okay okay so the the roman numerals that tells you what level the town hall is is switched it's actually above the door now which don't you guys love the way that door looks like the purple and the pink in the doorway that's so cool i love it all right so let's attack this base um i'm gonna come in from the opposite side actually because well frankly i feel like it uh so let's go ahead throw this baby in there uh balloon and healers okay warden so i got you bro i got you um let's actually do oh uh, you know what i should have done i should have <laughs> i should have unlocked the pets anyway that's cool uh we may do two raids um okay so uh king no 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 you know what let's do siege barracks drop that with the ice golem that's gonna create a funnel all right let's get the super wall breaker in there bam there we go and uh let's go balloon and uh baby dragon over here that's gonna create a bit of a funnel Okay, and as soon as that uh, as soon as that mortar goes down, come on, baby dragon, get in there, get in there, buddy. There you go. All right, so let's send everybody a king, queen, royal champion, yeti, bowlers, baby dragon, uh, more balloons, a couple of wizards. Let's just get everybody in there, okay? Uh, let's quad quake, drop a second rage spell. Everything's looking good so far. Everything's looking great actually. Uh, let's drop a, a jump spell. Let's actually poison. Let's drop another rage spell. And should I do the Warden's ability already? I kind of want to wait until the town... Actually, you don't have to for the Town Hall, right? I don't think it has any death damage for the Town Hall until level 5. But I might be wrong. Let's find out. So, King, pop your ability, bro. Uh, he's going to... Look at that Pirate King. He's awesome. Let's actually take out this Town Hall and see what happens. Boom. And... Oh, there is death damage, even though it's level 1. Okay. <laughs> brutal, bro. Oh, my gosh. That was brutal. Uh, okay, well, let's just get these in here. Look at that. Look at that. So it's like a poison spell effect. So Town Hall 14 gives you that poison spell effect, not just the damage. That doesn't just slow you down either. It actually damages you, which is crazy. So not only does it do crazy amounts of damage upon explosion, not only does it slow your troops down and now it slows down their attacking, but it also does poison spell damage, which is terrible. So yeah, I'm going to pop this queen's ability. Uh, I'm not entirely sure I'm going to three-star this, actually. I kind of went 
I kind of went like full on YOLO mode, right? <laughs> Which is not always the, the best strategy, but it's okay. Um, so I will be demonstrating the pets, I guess, in the next video because I definitely won't have my heroes now. Uh, but that's okay because I'm going to have to upgrade the pets anyway. So like right now, if using them would be... And it, it, it would almost be like... Well, it wouldn't be bad to use them. It's just like they're going to be level one and they're not going to be very good. So upgrading them would probably actually be better. So, ooh, look at the, look at these yeti smash. Uh, look at these. Uh, what are these called? Uh, yeti mites. Yeah, those things are a beast. Because I had s enough yetis to where um, all of the uh, the multi-targeting inferno beams were busy on the yetis, so the yeti mites were able to get there to the inferno. That was awesome. Uh, all right, so it looks like yeah, this multi inferno over here is going to ruin everything. And oh, okay, never mind. Everybody died. <laughs> 91% that's so cool okay so we got it we got we got the two star which I think means that uh oh we got dang it I needed a three star all right 28 or 2.8 million gold and elixir 13.2k dark elixir for the uh the super crazy 4x star bonus so definitely need to be looking forward to that I have a lot of loot in my treasury too so let's do some spending now okay let's do some loot spending also I'm finally in the league praise praise all right so here's what we got Going to my progress base. I've got trees in the way. Hold on. Uh, trees, trees, trees. That can't be the problem, but I'm going to get rid of it. Uh, what? Okay, I might have like a uh, tombstone or something in the way. I just can't see. I can't see what's stopping me right now. That's weird. All right, let's go into my progress base. Uh, it's the... Uh... Oh, it's this tree. Yeah, yeah. Get out of here, lucky shrub. No one likes you anyway. Um... I should probably keep one. Oh, I've got loads of them. Okay, okay. We're good. We're good. Also, why is this here? That's weird. All right. Anyway, so um, that's going to be out of the way here shortly. And then we are good to uh, good to go. Um, as soon as that thing is gone. And so what are the things that we need to upgrade first? Obviously, number one priority is going to be this laboratory. And I can go ahead and upgrade this baby. Because there's nothing I can upgrade. So definitely want to go ahead and get this going. Now, I'm not going to wait on this one either. I'm going to use another hammer to instantly finish the laboratory because it is the number one priority. So let's let's do this immediately. It changes the way it looks. It didn't change the way it looked. It didn't have a new skin in the sneak peek that I did. So I'm excited about this. So let's go. Three, two, one, bam. There are other buildings that are that are that are going to take longer and that are more expensive. That that might make more sense to use the hammer on those instead. But the laboratory is absolutely key for success. And so I wanted to make sure that I had it unlocked today. Now I can show you guys the new upgrades. But first, okay, that stupid lucky shrub is gone. Let's go into my progress base. Why are these air bombs here? Why are they here? Get out of here! No one wants you to be here. It's kind of mean, isn't it? Uh, but it's true. <laughs> All right, so I haven't adjusted my progress base. I will adjust my progress base off camera. But here's the new things that you get. New Barbarian, New Archer, Wall Breaker, Healer, Baby Dragon, uh, Clone Spell, Poison Spell, Minion, Valkyrie, Ice Golem, and that's it. So uh, if I were to upgrade one of these, it would obviously be the Barbarian. It's always kind of like my first priority for upgrades in the laboratory. So let's go ahead and do this right now. Uh, immediately maxing it out it would have been made it would have made my barbarian king stronger too because of his ability so that would have been good so let's go ahead and do this in three two one bam and i have the hammer so there we go it is now done and i got another hammer that i can go ahead and buy before my countdown begins so now let's do the archers so now my king and my queen's abilities are maxed out again that's perfect bam there we go. So King or uh, Barbarian and Archer maxed out. So the next priority would be, I'm assuming, let me look real quick. Yes. Next priority is going to be my healers. Okay. I have plenty of elixir for this. So let's go ahead and upgrade the healers. Level seven. It is 17 upgrade time and it's 17 million elixir. That's a triple seven right there. I mean, that's perfect. Uh, so let's do it. Three, two, one, bam. Of course, I, I had to spend the loot that time, but that's fine because... It's fine. <laughs> all right, so I've got this book of fighting now, so I can use this. I should have done all this before the attack, guys. I apologize, but it's okay. I'm trying. I'm actually really trying to get the video out because I'm super late today. Uh, but here we go. Book of fighting. Three, two, one. Bam. All right, and then uh, what should be the next focus? I kind of want to upgrade the ice golem, honestly, because uh, I do use a lot of that. Or the poison spell. How much dark elixir? Oh, wow. I don't have that much dark elixir. I have 150,000 plus the treasury. So I've only got 177,000 dark elixir, which means I've got nothing near what I need to upgrade this. Okay. Uh, there's no way to buy dark elixir. Do I have a rune? I've got to have a rune, right? Dark elixir rune. I do. Okay, cool. So uh, what is the cheapest dark elixir upgrade? I've got no dark elixir upgrades. 
No way. I thought I upgraded the Queen of the, the Dark Elixir. The... Ah, that's why it's not showing up, because I've got the Power Potion effect. Okay, okay. Oh, no, there it is right there. I didn't see it. So, Royal Champion. So, the cheapest Dark Elixir upgrade I have right now is the Royal Champion at 300,000. So, I actually have to do some do some rating to get that much Dark Elixir. Uh, so, instead of doing the Dark Elixir upgrade, I will do another Elixir upgrade. That works. And the Baby Dragons are my next target. Okay? So, I need 17 million Elixir. Fortunately, I do have a rune. And I've also got loads of loot in the treasury. I should probably use that too. But let's use the rune because I'm so close to zero. Okay? So elixir rune. Three, two, one. Bam. Yep. So 18 million free elixir. Oh, wait a minute. Wait. Wait. Let me think. I don't, I don't want to landlock myself. Because remember, I want to get this pet house. This is number one priority. Actually. Besides getting the laboratory going, that's the number one priority. So I should have probably gemmed the pet house. Or not gemmed it, but, you know, used a, a building or a book or something. Okay, what, do I have any more books? I've got, I've got a book of building. Okay, we are good. All right, cool. So, let's, um, let's actually do what I was going to do, okay? Let's upgrade this baby dragon. 17 million elixir in three, 16 and a half day upgrade, by the way. That's insane. Uh, in three, two, one, bam. And I've got no way to speed it up. So, now the laboratory is done. I always focus on the laboratory first. It's done we good, okay? We good. So we're done. Uh, so now what we need to do is focus on getting the elixir necessary to get the pet. What is it called? The pet house. Okay, so we need 15 million elixir. So um, I've got a little bit in my treasury. Let's go ahead and collect that. There we go. I've actually maxed out my gold, but I'm focused on the elixir right now. So now I can use these metals and I can actually buy more elixir. But is there any other way that I can get elixir? Not really. Nothing direct. Nothing direct. Okay, so let's actually buy the elixir we need for the pet house, which is going to be uh, one, two. I think that's that's enough. Oh, no, it's not even close. Uh, three, 15 million. Okay, four. So I got to spend 100 medals to get the... Oh, gosh. Wow. Okay, well, that's, that's cool, I guess. All right, so pet house. There we go. We're going to grab this baby. Three, two, one. Bam. And I actually have, fortunately, the... Um, what is that called? The uh, the book of uh, book of building. Sorry, I got a notification on my phone. I had to check it. So book of building. Let's do this. Let's finish off this pet house and then look at and see what we need to do next. In three, two, one, bam! That was absolutely the best way to use that book. Hey chief, let me offer you a tour of the pet house. Okay, pets. Pets are powerful companions that fight alongside your heroes in battle. You can upgrade them to make them even more powerful. Let's pair up the first one, Lassie, with one of your heroes. Okay. Uh. Let's throw it with the king. Unique choice, or excellent choice. Each pet is unique, and there's many great combinations. Feel free to experiment to see what works best. All right, then. Cool. So now my king has Lassie, which actually I think I think the royal champion might be a better choice. Let me know in the comments what you guys think about that. Now, I would love, 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 love to be able to uh, unlock the Electro Owl. So how do I do that? I got to upgrade this again, but I don't have the elixir. So I got to buy more. Haha. <laughs> I'm going to do it. One, two, three, four. That should be enough. Oh, wow. Nope. Uh, five, six. That should be enough right there. It isn't. Oh, my gosh. Wow. Uh, okay. So, I have to... Let me think for a second. I've got to get a little bit more elixir. Do I have any here? Do I have any more elixir? I've got lots of gold. Flowing fountain. Ooh, that's a cool thing. But no, I need more elixir. Uh, that's what I need right there. Dang it. Dang it. Uh, okay. Okay. Let's think this through here for a second. I'm, I'm just I'm navigating the game here. So um, to upgrade this and get this going, because I do want the pet house to be upgrading while this video is over, like when, once this video is over. It's a 15 day upgrade. Oh my goodness. Uh, so that means I need a little bit more elixir. Do I have another army? I do. I could go get more, but I don't think I'd be able to get a million. Um, could just buy more. No, I can't because I, I can't hold enough. Can I upgrade my elixir storages? I think I can because yeah, yeah, okay. Hmm, gems may come in handy here. I might have to actually use gems to do this. Uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and upgrade the elixir storage. I got plenty of gold. 6, 12, 18. And let's uh, let's use my gold rune and get a little bit more gold. Actually, a lot more gold. <laughs> right there. There we are. And this here. There we go. So four builders used up on elixir storages. Now, I could use my gems... That would be good, probably. Let me think for a second. So if I wanted to get 2.5 million more elixir, that means that I would get 19 million, which means I need to increase my maximum 
by 1 million, which means I need to gem two of these elixir storages. So I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it. I've been saving gems just for this very purpose. So 1600 and 1600. There you go. So now I can buy a little bit more elixir. There we go. And I can get this pet house going right now. 17.5 million elixir, three, two, one, bam. There we go. So I've done what I needed to do. Uh, you know what? You guys can come down here so I can remember what's going on. Uh, I'll, again, I'll adjust my progress space of everything that needs to be upgraded off camera. All right. So uh, all the, the rest of the things is walls, right? So let's go ahead and grab those. Put them uh, over here, just like so. This is going to be such a weakness on my base. I'm going to have to absolutely 100% upgrade them a million times. Uh, so put these here. It's only 25, so that should be it right there. There we go. Very good. Uh, I got some new traps as well. And you want to get your new stuff because it's super quick and it gives you a lot of value on your base. So definitely get all of your new traps and stuff, especially the uh, the air targeting stuff. So a giant bomb. Uh, seeking air mine. Look at these are all zero second upgrades. This is amazing. Spring trap. There we go. Okay, so I've got three builders. Um, I can't use dark elixir. I could use gold. Okay, let's. I can. I can actually use gold. So let's actually upgrade. Um, what can I do with gold? I mean, I've got all the new stuff, right? Yeah, so now I can start working on the existing stuff. Let's actually work on this Eagle Artillery. Oh, this is 20 million. Oh my gosh. Wow. I can't hold 20 million. I can only hold 18 million. Wow. Okay, so I can't do that until I upgrade the storages. I can't upgrade the storages until I have extra elixir, so we're stuck there. What about the Inferno Towers? Uh, 19 million. Okay, I can't afford those either. What can I afford? Hmm, Builder Huts. Oh, the Builder Huts. Okay, let's upgrade the Builder Huts. That'd be fun. Um, yeah, so let's grab a, one of these, move them over, and give these an upgrade. So this is going to make the Builder Hut a defense, which is awesome. And it also makes the Builder a repairman that runs around the base. So 9.5 million gold in 3, 2, 1. Bam. And I've got loads of loot in my treasury, so I might as well collect all that. There we are. That gets me to 7 million nearly. Okay, so I really can't afford anything except for maybe like the new traps and stuff. So, um, let's do the Seeking Air Mine. That's kind of an important upgrade. That's a day, so that's good. That'll give me something to do tomorrow, right? Uh, so one day, one million gold, three to one, bam. All right, and then one more builder. So should I do the air bomb maybe? Four hour upgrade, 20,000 gold. Okay, so I'm gonna spend the rest of my gold on these new walls. And you know what? I'm gonna put them all in the same line. That should actually make it a little bit easier. Put this down right there. There we go. Let's upgrade these walls several times, all right? I don't, I wanna get to, uh, let me see, it's 20,000 gold, yeah, so pretty much, basically I just wanna empty out my storages here, okay? So two million and 3.75 million. Okay, so I can't do that. How much are these a piece? 150,000, yeah, so if I do like maybe half? 165, there we go, that's good. And I'll do this one too, and I'll do this one. And that will do. Okay, so let's upgrade this bomb. So that means I'm gonna have two builders tomorrow to continue to work on these things. I need to accumulate dark elixir between episodes, and um, I need to work on these <laughs> those uh, gold storages. That's like the main focus. So twenty thousand gold, three to one, bam. All right, guys. So was that the best way to do today? Well, besides not having an attack with all this new stuff, uh, yes, because I got the pet house. I upgraded the pet house. Uh, we, we upgraded a lot of stuff in the laboratory. We got something going in the laboratory. We actually worked on some storages so that we can do some of those higher level elixir upgrades, which are very, very important. And we got the new stuff, including working on the new builder hut upgrades, which is awesome. Um, we're now peaked out on what we can do today, but next time guys, definitely be looking forward to what we're going to be up to. Obviously I'm going to be grinding between episodes and, uh, my goal, my ultimate goal. Oh, unplaced building. Uh, let's put this. Where do I want this? I'm gonna put this. I'm gonna put this over here for now. I like that obstacle. That's kind of cool. So uh, yeah, off camera again. I'll, I'll work on the uh, progress space so we can better see what needs to be upgraded. But I think that we got off to a really, really great start. If you have any suggestions for what we should do and try to get accomplished in the next episode, let me know. Apologies for the long video. I know that some of you guys really have a hard time watching the longer videos, but I had to do what I had to do. So uh, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Like the video if you like to subscribe if you haven't already for daily gaming videos and turn on those notifications. And also don't forget to check out today's video sponsor. The link is down below in the description. 
And also, don't forget to use code Klaus, guys. All of these special packs, the Update Mega Pack, the Rune Awakening, Book Smart, Anything Goes, and of course, the Epic Jungle Scenery, the uh, Welcome to the Jungle Royal Champion skin, and then the Channel 14 pack. All those are very tempting, so if you guys decide to buy any of these, be sure and use code Klaus. There's a link for you guys down below in the description, or if you've already used the code, be sure and check the shop, okay? Look for that little white C. You can see mine is not there, so I would go into my settings, um, and go to more settings, scroll down to the bottom and hit enter code Klaus. And then a small percentage of the purchase would go to me. Or if you want to use someone else's code, just make sure you use someone's code. All right. It's a huge blessing to us content creators. That's all for me, guys. Thank you all so much for tuning in. Remember that I love each and every one of you. And I will see you all again next time.